calling all the Datin Datins and Tai Tais. As well as stay at home dads because it's already 2021. Don't be sexist lah. If you care about your children's eyes like I care, or if you're a professional who wants to stop squinting, mata sapet, when reading emails from your very good boss that keeps emailing you after hours, then you should probably keep watching because today I'll be reviewing the brand new BenQ I care. GW2785TC monitor. Let's take a closer look. True story. Recently, my equally bangsawan sister wanted to build a study station for her son and spent about 5,000 ringgit on a set of ergonomic desk and chair because she knew that he would have to spend long hours studying from home because of the current situation. Without me even rachuning her about monitor ergonomics, she came to me out of the blue and asked me which monitor she should get for my nephew. Even though I was going to recommend her something similar like this monitor that we are reviewing today, she ended up buying the even more bangsa one PD2700U which is actually on sale right now for 2149 ringgit linked in the description anyways let's dive right in the BenQ iCare GW2785TC is priced at 1349 ringgit. There's also the 23.8 inch version, the GW2485TC, which is priced at 1199 ringgit. This monitor has a 27 inch 75 Hz refresh rate 1080p IPS panel in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that has a standard 5 millisecond gray to gray response time and anti glare finish. The IPS panel makes this a very suitable for work and study because it has the widest viewing angle among all the LCD panel types. Other specs about this monitor include the advertised 72% NTSC color coverage as well as a 215 nits peak brightness. It is definitely usable but if you need better specs for color crucial work like video or photo editing or interior design and architecture and stuff like that, then you should probably consider BenQ's PD or SW series instead, though they are definitely more pricey. In terms of looks, this monitor has an all-black plastic chassis with pretty slim bezels, giving it a clean and sleek appearance uh, which when coupled with the cable management system, makes for a good option for workspaces. It also comes with an ergonomic stand uh, with an adjustable height up to 130mm, 45 degrees swivel, 90 degrees pivot and tilts down 5 degrees and up 20 degrees. This makes the monitor very easy to adapt uh, for different users ranging from toddlers who study from home to grown men who like to browse the internet to Tai Tais who like to watch Lee Min Ho. No matter your size or age, this monitor has got you covered. Jokes aside, it is actually very important to properly position your monitor if you're going to be studying or working with it for longer periods of time for the sake of your posture as well as your eyes. Uh, so an ergonomic stand like this is actually quite an underrated feature that a lot of entry-level monitors tend to lack. Now of course, if you want even better ergonomics, feel free to buy a monitor arm and use the provided best amount with this monitor. See, I really care about you. I care, which is why I kind of need to tell you about BenQ's I care technology. Walao, who wrote this script one? Pei Yi, why you like this? Your zoomer humor ah, is si pele meh. Below the BenQ logo, you'll find a light sensor that supports the brightness intelligence feature. This sensor detects your environment or work environment's ambient light and adjusts the brightness, contrast, and color temperature of your screen accordingly, automatically. If you also own the BenQ screen bar, it will sync up with your monitor and adjust accordingly as well, illuminating your desk with 15 adjustable brightness levels up to 500 lux, ranging from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, which is 8 levels of color temperature, which will fit in most use cases. It also makes for a clutter-free desk setup since it mounts directly on top of your monitor while protecting your eyes because of its beam angle that doesn't shine directly at your face. Also, another part of eye care is the low blue light plus setting that reduces emitted blue light that can be harmful to your eyes. To be honest, this eye care feature set and the ergonomic stand does make the GW series monitor slightly pricier than some of the more basic options out there. However, I think they are actually worth the money if you need these features uh, for work or study. So like I've mentioned before, people are caring more about their eyes these days, so it is good to have more options like this monitor in the market. As a bonus feature, it even comes with four different modes that you can switch uh, between very quickly to suit your daily activities including the care mode, coding mode, reading mode, and e-paper mode. 
Moving on, let's take a look at the I.O. ports at the back of the monitor. You have one headphone jack, one HDMI 1.4 port, two DisplayPort 1.2, and a USB Type-C port with 60 watts of power delivery. And this means that if you have the right laptop with the right specs, you could simultaneously charge it and output video to the monitor using just one singular USB Type-C cable without even having to use the power brick that came with the uh, laptop. This is very handy uh, since most work and study computers are laptops anyways. And of course, we have audio. On the right side of the BenQ logo, there's an inbuilt noise cancelling microphone for those of you who need to attend a conference call or two with your kids running around in the background. Here's a tiny demo of how it sounds like. Now, I've just cranked up the noise cancellation on the microphone to high. So in case you're like having a meeting, right? And then if Azrai behind is like farting every day, uh, you won't be able to hear him. Hi. In terms of speakers, you get a couple of 2 watt speakers that are not awesome but still does the job in a pinch. Here's a sound test for your reference as well. To recap, here are the pros, mass and cons of the BenQ iCare GW2785TC. I give this BenQ iCare GW2785TC a very hashtag cheap buy for people who care for their eyes 8 out of 10. So if you're shopping for a work or study monitor without breaking the bank, then I think this is a pretty suitable monitor for you. Being 27 inches, if you can afford the extra desk space, it will allow you to sit back a little bit when you're doing your thing. The ergonomics and eye care feature set are also very clutch to help the monitor adapt to your work environment without much hassle. I also kind of like that USB Type-C power delivery port because if you're like Elaine who only works with a laptop, you can get a much cleaner desk setup with more space for your documents, your notebooks, and stationeries, and other stuff that Elaine like to have hanging around her desk. Of course, if you don't care about your eyes and your back because you're a zoomer who is YOLOing it, then there are definitely cheaper alternatives out there. So go ahead and buy those. And that is all I have to say about the BenQ iCare GW2785TC monitor. If you thought this video was awesome, don't forget to like and share and leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this monitor or any other monitors and I'll try my best to reply to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more content like this, huh? Because it's very awesome, just like you. And I will see you in the next one.